all silicon has a graph right so any piece of silicon is gonna look like this when it comes to voltage let me put this over here voltage frequency like this hurts so uh, every silicon looks like this when do you stop overclocking yeah what other answer is there one when the amount of hours overtakes the value you would get from playing the game that's the way i would word that from playing the game i like head glitch spots learning the map learning hero moves learning time delays and all that stuff right um um and this is this is gonna be for our community specifically this is not like uh everyone should follow this list right like this, this is just what this is how this is what i do this is how this is my philosophy right um yeah but if you're tinkering with with education as the goal i would say that's okay like if you're not a seasoned overclocker and you're trying to learn what memory timings do and stuff like you're learning well that's a goal marcel probably knows the fucking webster's definition of every single timing in the bios and he still sits in there there's no goal there Ed education is a valid goal i would say you know what i mean a as part of tinkering tinkering for the purpose of education sure yeah that's a great way to learn get in there and do it right when when you are doing it with no goal as in nanoseconds not a goal mm, i could i could phrase this better actually when you're doing it with here we go when you're bored that's it you're just like yeah i'm bored today i'm gonna rebuild my entire pe no no find something more productive to do with your time um sorry i bet you i bet you there's more here um when is it safe to overclock so i talked about the sil all silicon has a graph right so any piece of silicon is gonna look like this when it comes to voltage let me put this over here voltage frequency like this hurts so uh, every silicon looks like this so eventually you're gonna hit this spot here and then you just stop this is probably let's say if you're on a let's say you're on a 10 900 k and this is like 5.2 gigahertz at like 1.35 volts and this over here is like 5.3 gigahertz at 1.4 volts way more heat for 100 megahertz and then down here is like 5.35 fucking gigahertz for like 1.5 volts you stop it you you stop here this is where you stop when what soon as it starts doing this and you can you can just like play with your chip but you just get a feel for it you're like increase the voltage increase the voltage and you'll see it you'll actually see it um quite linearly as well so you'll see it'll be like uh, how do i even word this it'll be like 900 millivolts here one volt here 1.1 1 .1, and it, it goes up linearly 
so you'll be increasing your v core in like 0 0.25 millivolt increments right and it's like five gigahertz 5.1 5.2 and then the next one doesn't go up in the same increment it's like oh now it needs 0 0.5 to hit it instead of 0 0.25 you've hit the wall that's where you stop simple as that it's the same thing with gpus as well so or any silicon at all it, that's where you stop when you hit the top of the curve for your silicon quality important do not compare with redditors this is the most important points do not compare with fucking people online they will give you the craziest fucking voltage numbers no load line it's just don't don't do it do it for your chip who cares what the silicon quality is just do it for your chip when you get to the top you just stop it's as simple as that and between okay here's another fucking thing i'll tell you here's another thing this is what silicon quality is okay here's your graph see it's a 10900k right 100x not that one not that one 100k okay the worst silicon quality one is gonna be like 5.2 at like 1.38 volts the like the best silicon quality one is gonna be 5.4 at 1.38 who gives a shit? Just stop whenever your chip hits the top of the curve. Your chip's top of the curve could be here, could be here, could be here. The FPS difference between these two is like fucking two FPS. Who gives a shit? Don't worry about it. Just go to the top of the curve for your chip and then that's when you stop. There. Any other points that I missed? When it comes to memory, don't go over 1.35 volt SA and 1.3 IO. Now, people will argue this on the internet until the day they die, but you don't have to. So, like like do you know how like their bauer fried his chip with 1.6 volts sa you don't have to like like can i show you my sa voltage right now i think i can actually one point three my io was one point two four what fucking frequency numbers are you trying to aim for here? Like, you're, you're not you're not trying to hit 5,000 megahertz on memory speed, okay? Like, it's that's not like you you literally never have to go more than this, never, to get any kind of frequency that you want on an Intel chip. Um, 1.4 for Rocket Lake. That's it. That's it. That's when you stop. So let's say, let's say in terms of this, let's say you hit 4533 megahertz on your B die with 1.35 SA, and then you try and go for 4600. This could, this might take 1.45 SA. You, you, you're well past the fucking curve. What's the difference between these two? Zero FPS. Zero. You just stay here. Hell, mine does it at 1.3. If I want to go 46.33, I've, I can't even get it stable, dude. 1.5 SA? According to DeBauer, he'll say 1.6 is safe. What do you think I'm going to run? You think I'm going to run 45.33 or this? It's just fucking retarded. You don't do this. You go to the top of the curve and you stop. That's literally it. Do you know what I mean?
all silicon is the same rule for when you stop do you know what i mean um let me catch up here does that make sense that's when you stop overclocking when you've when you've had enough it, every you always just do one part at a time you get to the top of the curve you stop it literally doesn't take longer than a day i mean even if you're like brand new to overclocking it doesn't take longer than like a week to validate everything do you know what i mean and then once you're done and all your components are at the top of the curve just go play never touch it ever again you're done just go fucking play you're done that's it you're done dude i haven't touched my fucking pc in god knows how long dude i haven't touched it it's all the same this is, you go go back to my videos like six months ago or i guess whenever i got this board go back to whenever i got this motherboard all these values are the exact same dude i don't touch it why would i why would i fuck with it it's all the same shit. It's all the same, same shit. You know what I mean? I got two water pumps in this baby. Two D5s. I, I'm going to do my final build, I think, this week at some point. Oh, yeah. Look at that tech cooler doing his job. That's fantastic. Just, oh, yeah. Ah, this is fucking awesome, dude. Okay. Any questions on that before we move on? Maybe I'll play a game of Apex. What about getting to 50 ring without freezing any trick not that i know of why would you even care 47 to 50 ring zero fps oh, maybe like five fps fucking cares why would you even care not even five not even five Who cares don't worry about it you're way past the curve you're way past the curve that's what that's what i'm saying let's say the top of the curve for your cpu is 48 that's the top of your curve don't look for tricks to like get over the curve all that time you spent researching the tricks to get over the curve you could have been playing and getting better at a game i don't know the tricks because i don't go that far that's what i'm saying like 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 i'm not i'm not like some overclocking xoc god by any means i'm not like a fucking buildzoid-esque overclocker i literally go to the top of the curve with my parts and then i fuck off and i go play games i don't do research on like dude marcel taught me like a hundred different tertiary timings doesn't matter he's like jufus did you tune this this and this and this i'm like no i don't even know what those fucking numbers even mean dude they're like oh how do you have 35 nanoseconds without tuning fucking quash quashiary tur timings i'm like the motherboard does it for me man why would i why would I even fuck with that shit going from 36 to 35 nanoseconds is zero fps why would i fuck with it i would rather just get better at the game I'm not gonna fuck around with that shit. I don't have any tricks for you, dude. I go right till the top of the curve and I'm playing games, dude. I have no tricks, no tricks, no secrets. I don't care enough. It's not gonna get. Oh my God, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just, I, I like, like I'm not even, an, I'm not even that good at overclocking, dude. I, I literally bought i bought the z590 unify because it tunes all the timings for me dude i do the primaries and like two secondaries and the board does the rest and i'm fucking playing i don't i don't care i don't give a shit dude i'm playing and i still have the most fps you don't have to do any of that shit or you know what you know what else when the amount of hours overtakes learning how the the game engine works this is a whole separate field of optimization do you remember that day that we were doing vanguard 
and we were testing all those differences in the config file we're learning how the game engine works we're learning how to make the visibility better how to make the sun not as bright those things are way more impactful for the success of your gameplay over a bios screen you know what i mean like you still have to learn how the game engine functions with different options and stuff right setting the particle quality to high to remove tree shimmering in the back rems found that one out i think right like learning what the gate like like so so if you're at like 36 nanoseconds just chill the fuck out go into the game and turn every option on and off and see what the difference is turn everything up and down up and down up and down test every fucking option in that that's going to give you way more success in your gameplay than any of this other fuck just just you know, you know what i mean but but i'm a pc gamer i'm not a xoc guy this is com this is going to go completely over xoc people's fucking heads right but like like i this is the kind of stuff that i do right because i i want to get the competitive advantage you know what i mean if I already have 400 FPS in Overwatch, there's a fucking frame cap of 400 FPS. What am I going to go and get more FPS for? I can't. I'm already at 400 locked. I'm, I'm better off doing this shit. Oh, that's another good one. When you've hit the FPS cap of the game you're playing. Want to play. This is like, I, this is so simple. I didn't even think about it. Does the game you're playing have an FPS cap? If so, just overclock till you hit the FPS cap or, or hang on, hang on. Even better. When you've hit the FPS to Hertz of your monitor imagine tuning your system to the refresh rate of your fucking monitor imagine just common sense right simple done done skis and that concludes the stream that was fucking perfect this is gonna drive people fucking crazy on youtube